From the Watergate Building in Washington, this is Hotline TV. Now hear Hotline editors Amy Walter and John Mercurio. Welcome to Hotline TV, everybody. I am John Mercurio. And I am Nora McElvana. Today, another installment of Target Hillary. <laughs> Hillary was the butt of Saturday Night Live's opening Halloween skit, which featured a very special cameo. Let's take a look. Say that. Hey, great Obama man. Yeah. Well, who is that under there? <laughs> Hillary. Hello, Bill. Nice to see you. Yes, nice to see you, Brock. So you dressed as yourself? Well, you know, Hillary, I have nothing to hide. I enjoy being myself. I'm not going to change who I am just because it's Halloween. Well, that's... that's great. All right, not only did Obama and the Saturday Night Live skit take shots at Hillary, but John Edwards did on ABC News' This Weekly, all of this following her much-panned performance at last week's MSNBC debate. Nora McIlvana, you cover Hillary Clinton on a daily basis. Is the tide turning against Hillary, or are these just desperate pot shots from her rivals? I do. I cover Hillary, and as you know, I also defend Hillary on a daily basis. Good. Or... You get your checks directly no, from I, the campaign. And I, from Phil Singer. I do. I... Thanks, Phil. Thank you. Um, no, I think that this is interestingly, Bill Clinton was in Utah and he said something interesting. He said, you know, going through this speech defending Hillary Clinton as he always does is just a stump. And he said, she's not a char cartoon character. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we've, we've really seen recently is just her becoming a character. But that herself. implies that her campaign has sort of let her image get out of control. And, it, you know, ultimately it's their responsibility. Sure, you're going to see uh, other candidates, other her opponents, try to caric caricaturize her. Um, and that's just the reality that she has to deal with. Has her campaign sort of let her image and her message get out of control? Is that well, what he's admitting? I mean, this was an inevitable happening. We just didn't know when it would happen. So right, it's right. sort of just... The news now is it started, mm -hmm. and she's um, in defense mode. It's the interesting thing is we had this women story, the angle of her, you know, after Tuesday night's debate, it being these men against Hillary. Right. Um, and I think that the fact that the campaign chose to play that card, mm -hmm. and when they chose to play it, like right when these attacks did start, you right. know, these. I thought was interesting and, and probably not the best move. Well, you know, she took a lot of flack for that, for having, you know, look, she spent the past six and a half, seven years trying to neutralize her gender as an issue in the campaign. Now all of a sudden she goes to Wellesley and says, you know, I'm a woman and they're attacking me. And she got a lot of criticism, though, she's trying to have it both ways. You know, you think about it for a second, who running for president right now isn't trying to have it both ways? Right. In fact, who in, a, in, in the political world isn't trying to have it both ways? Rudy Giuliani is meeting with Sam Brownback and the NRA to try to appeal to conservatives at the same time that he's saying, nominate me, I can win uh, states like California because I'm so liberal on social issues. So, I mean, aren't, yeah. isn't everybody sort of in this game in, in some way trying to play to all of their strengths and have it all, you know, every way that they can? That, I mean, certainly, but uh, I, I guess it's just surprising to see, you know, Know, the Clinton campaign going there and it's something new for us she has a uh, really controlled her image and yeah. this is a, a sign I don't think it's a sign it's out of control and uh, she said after the whole Wellesley comment she said this weekend in Iowa if you can't stand the heat then they get, get out, out of the kitchen, kitchen. And I'm and not she going sort anywhere. of you you see the campaign now backtracking um, on right. the women comments that that defense using that gender card and uh, I think you have earned your uh, your salary from the Clinton campaign thank this you. week. Thank, thank you. Thank you. That'll do it for today's Hotline TV. I'm John Mercurio and I am Nora McIlvana. We'll see you next time. Excuse my voice is cracking. <laughs> like Peter Brady. We'll see you next time on Hotline TV.